Hi there, it's uh, Lowell Edwards from the province. This is the video edition of the fifth quarter coming to you from Toronto on Friday night where the BC Lions uh, managed to beat the uh, Toronto Argonauts 36 to 28 at Rogers Centre before 24,000 and change. Uh, two words that come to mind uh, just off the top of my head uh, off of this one, grand theft on the part of the BC Lions based on uh, their play at, certainly in the first half uh, certainly a tale of two halves and a tale of two quarterbacks, both of them named Jarius Jackson. Jackson not looking good at all in the first half as he replaced Buck Pierce, um, but looking a lot better in the second half when he replaced Travis Lule, who got the start at the start of the third quarter. Uh, Jarius Jackson, 11 for 15 with three touchdowns in the second half. That was the difference. The Lions scoring 17 points in the last four minutes and two seconds to win. Um, obviously, the concern on the part of the Lions will be of um, the health of Buck Pierce, who uh, was very ill in the in the uh, first quarter after he uh, threw an interception and got uh, flung to the turf, hit his head on a on a hit uh, from a Toronto player. Um, <clears throat> I'm not, you know the, it's it's we'll have to find out more about uh, the status of Buck Pierce on Saturday, but uh, quite clearly it seems that the Lions are now more prepared than ever to shut them down until they find out exactly what is happening because, uh, you know, when you uh, uh, put the injury that occurred tonight against the one that uh, caused them dizzy spells against uh, uh, Saskatchewan last week and the head, of course, against Ham uh, Edmonton earlier in the year, there's obviously concern. Uh, Buck Pierce was very concerned about it himself after the game as he spoke um, to a few members of the media after the game. But, uh, you know, uh, for me, I think the, the difference in this game, uh, and it's a little thing, but I think it was the, it really was defensively, it was the open field tackling on the part of the BC Lions and their commitment to stop shutting down the Toronto's attack in the second half when they had one-on-one -on -one open field tackling. Yes, they gave up a lot of second and longs during the game, and probably far too many, but... The fact that they were able to shut down the Argonauts and Cody Pickett, uh, although they gave up 345 yards passing, um, I think that was one of the reasons why the Argos were limited to seven field goals from uh, Justin Medlock, which tied a, a club record. Um, I thought it was some of the, the, the application of the uh, BC defense that uh, sort of made a difference. So uh, again, the Lions somehow managed to win. It's a, obviously a huge confidence booster for them. Uh, a game that they didn't look like they were uh, in it had any business of winning based on the first half. Jarius Jackson, as I said, looked very confused, and that was the reason why Wally Bono made the hook or gave him the hook in the, at, at halftime. Travis Lule came in. He looked okay, but uh, also he suffered a little bit from the speed of the game. It was his first CFL regular season start, and I think the effects of that were evident in this game. So, uh, again, the Lions win. Uh, they probably will not have Buck Pierce in the next game when they play against the Winnipeg Blue Bombers on Friday night at BC Play Stadium. That's the fifth quarter from Toronto.